Hi everyone, this is Andy. This is Stormy with GSO Fishing. We are out here at Blue Mesa this morning where it is pretty windy. We're waiting for that incoming storm. But we wanted to cover a couple of news articles that have been going around that have been giving Blue Mesa some pretty bad press. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of emails and messages with some concerns about Blue Mesa being closed or is going to be closed at some point this summer. So we wanted to come to you guys and make sure that you know that none of that is true. Um, there are some facilities that will not be available this summer, including the Elk Creek Marina store, the Elk Creek Marina gas pumps, Pappy's restaurant, and boat and slip rentals at Elk Creek. So that stuff is definitely not going to be available this summer. However, uh, we've been out boating since the middle of April. And as of right now, we've got Elk Creek boat ramp and the Iola boat ramp are currently open seven days a week, 5.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. We also love coming to this lake with our family. It is fantastic for paddle boarding, kayaking, um, camping, uh, hiking. Uh, we, heck, we fly kite. Uh, we fly kayaks. We fly kites with our girls Great out day here. Great for kites today. Um, um, we do lots of birthday parties out here, lake tours. Yeah. There's tons of wildlife all over the lake almost all the time. We got bighorn sheep around the lake, mule deer, elk occasionally. Lots of small game. We've got a resident pair of peregrine falcons that nest here. Ospreys, bald eagles, you name it. Bunnies. <laughs> We're in some of the most beautiful country in Colorado. And it is definitely open and here for everybody to enjoy. And so that's the, the big thing we want to just let everybody know is that everything at Blue Mesa is cool. It's open. It's good to go. We're not going to have a marina store at Elk Creek, which is definitely a little inconvenience, and it's certainly a bummer for the concession that runs all that facility. But outside of that, there's a lot of really good opportunities for everybody to come out and enjoy this lake. And there are other amenities at the lake that are still open. Uh, Sapanero um, uh, Village Campground, they are open. Blue Mesa Outpost, they are open. They are some fantastic on the water areas that you can camp, bring your camper. They have, Some of them have cabins, some of them you can bring tents. There's um, um, the Blue Mesa Rec Ranch, as we all knew it, has got new owners this year called Thousand Islands, and they're going to bring in kind of a fresh new look to that big RV park, and they also have cabin rentals there, so definitely check them out too. Um, Arrowhead. Elk, yeah, Arrowhead Mountain Lodge, if you're looking for a place that's a little bit more off the grid, that is a beautiful resort, and it's about 20 minutes from the lake, and that's another really great place to stay. They have live music, they have food, they'll cook your catch of the day. I mean, fantastic place to visit also, not very far from the lake. Um, the other thing that if you call the concession phone number, Blue Mesa, they actually have pod rentals at the Elk Creek Campground too. So they're like little cabinets that they rent at the campground. So they're still running some stuff like that this summer. Um, and with that said, all the campgrounds are open at the lake too. So as far as stuff that's still open at Blue Mesa, that includes all the campgrounds, Elk Creek, Lake Fork, Ponderosa, Red Creek, Stevens Creek. Campground like Elk Creek and Lake Fork have hookups for your campers, or you can do the more primitive stuff like Red Creek and come camping. This has been a really, really good spring for fishing, especially for kind of the notorious species of Blue Mesa lake trout brown trout, kokanee salmon, and rainbow trout. Uh, we haven't really been targeting perch yet. That's a, usually a little later summer thing, but for right now, the lake trout fishing has been as good as it's going to be all year. There's been several anglers caught 
big trophy sized lake trout from their boats and from the bank both this spring and that'll continue to be the case probably for another three or four weeks uh, brown trout fishing is still on the on the rise has been for the last several years uh, anglers that are targeting brown trout are seeing 40 50 fish days with several three to four pounders caught which for blue mesa is super fun kokanee salmon fishing has been really good already this season so that's a really good sign for our summer the population is really good this year the salmon are big and healthy the gill lice thing is still present but it is in much less numbers than what we've seen the last couple of years so very encouraging there when you're looking for updated information on blue mesa rather than listening to the news articles visit the gunnison chamber of commerce visit the kirikani national park service web pages visit Blue Mesa Outpost, GSO Fishing, all of our websites, all of our social media. There are tons of great resources. Look at this. They are launching a sailboat at Blue Mesa right now, May 20th. Thank you all for your support. Hopefully this video kind of helps ease your minds a little bit or at least gives you some current information about the conditions and where we're at out here at Blue Mesa and we definitely hope to see you all out here this summer.